Hi there, my name is Ref, and welcome to my review about the JBE 4000 bass pickups. If you are a bass player like me, you know how important it is to have a pickup that not only captures the full range of your bass sound, but also gives you the versatility to shape your tone to fit any musical situation. The Joe Barden JBE 4000, I think that's the name, JBE 4000, is a game-changing pickup that offers all that, but with a big, a huge advantage. They are noiseless. If you have a Rickenbacker bass, you know what I am talking about, the noise issue. Let me start this video here with another video I posted in the Rickenbacker subreddit, showing the noise that was plaguing me, and what was the reason for me to change the stock pickups to the JBE 4000 Joe Barden pickups. I know it, come, it comes from the pickups because when I lower the, their volume, it completely goes away. So it's not something related to ground or anything like that. But when I turn the volume on, and I'm using Rico, Rico Sound now, it gets this noise. Now, if I put the, the instrument in the vertical, then I have this. But if I do this, it increases a lot also to the other side. It doesn't bother too much. A noise gate can basically get rid of it pretty, pretty quickly, but it's a little annoying. I have to play like on the very straight position. If I relax and play like this, sitting on my chair, then it plays. It's awesome, but I have to play like real, real straight. I don't know if that's normal from Rickenbackers or it is something that can be done here in the in the pickups, maybe, maybe to make it better. Uh, so, it is important to understand that all electric pickups can produce some level of noise especially single coil ones connected in series, which is our case here with the Rickenbacker, right? This noise gets worse when playing at high gain or volume, and there are some reasons for why it is so intense nowadays. One of them is that Rickenbacker is a very traditional company that still keeps most of their assembly processes and their assembly lines intact, like it was made in the 60s. While I highly appreciate this legacy element on their story, there is one thing that bugs us all. In the 60s, the world didn't have the amount of technology stuff and radio frequencies that we have nowadays. With Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, LED lamps like this one I have here in the studio, monitors, smart light bulbs, electrical transformers, and all the invisible stuff flying all around us, these things are exponentially higher nowadays. And because of that, the noise produced by two unshielded single coil pickups can be really loud. Especially if you are living in a busy place with lots of neighbors like, for example, a New York City apartment. Well, I know that Rickenbackers are known for its original and very velvety, velvety and 60 tones, and the noise is actually part of it. So while some people appreciate, the other ones dislike it, and me included. There are a few things you can try to reduce or eliminate the noise on stock pickups on your Rickenbacker bass being the most common one, a mod that inverts the polarity in one of the pickups so they cancel the hum of each other when both are on the same volume. Since the stock pickups are still being used, that solution still keeps the tone closer to the original one, but gets rid of the noise in some circumstances, such as, for example, when both pickups have the same volume configuration. Also, I don't understand why 
it doesn't come like that from the factory. This is something that every other modern manufacturer do, but Rickenbacker, because they're still following the 1960s way of assembling things, I believe this is why they don't do that. Some people say it affects the tone, but I believe that the, the, the benefit you have from getting rid of the noise is bigger. But it is what it is. You heard the noise in the video. So let me start talking about my journey to the Joe Barton JBE 4000 pickups. So my process of installation was a bit harsh. I first bought them and it took weeks to ship. That's okay and pretty common for boutique pickups. They sent it to me and I immediately got it to the repair shop to have it installed. After reassembling everything, my luthier called me saying that one of them was malfunctioning. Pickup was simply dead. He tried doing everything possible to make it work again, inverted polarity, did the luthier tricks and the professional things. No deal. So that was a Friday night, of course. I had to wait through the weekend. On Monday morning, I called JBE and their support staff was like, I find very hard to believe that one of our pickups are not working, but you can send it back to us so we can inspect it and repair or change it. And, and I was like, okay, who pays for the shipping of that return? And they were like, no, you have to pay the shipping. And I was like, wow, really? I have to pay return shipping for a malfunctioning product that cost me almost, or not almost, like it cost me $300. Okay, so I did. I went to UPS the next day and shipped it via two-day air. They received it and quickly fixed it, saying it was a simple ground issue. They quickly sent it back to me, also via UPS two-day air, and I had it again, but this time fixed. That repair was pretty quick. It was a surprise to me. I thought it was going to take weeks, but they repaired, ground issue, shipped back to me. Two days later, I got it. It is important to state that there was almost a month between this moment and the moment I first bought them on their website. Okay, I installed and everything. Aside from their customer service being rough, I had the pickup in my hands, but this time I installed it by myself because, you know, the guitar shop would take an extra week. And this was already taking long, like months had been passed. So I installed them in and the results were fantastic. For the volume benchmark, I am using the Rico sound feature of the Rickenbacker 4003. Rico sound splits the pickup signal into two mono signals, one for the neck and another one for the bridge pickup. So having both pickups in separate channels facilitate this test because I can compare not only the volumes across strings, but also across pickups, which is pretty instrumental when you are testing a new pickup. Because I don't need to play it twice, I can guarantee the same string plucking when having the sound provided by both pickups isolated. Let's take a look and compare the waveforms. I have the Rico sound plugged in so I can isolate the pickups into two different signal chains. The first one, uh, where I call input one, is my neck pickup. The speed diff one is my bridge pickup, which is passing through a Kemper profiling amp, but I'm not doing any tone shaping in the in the camper as well. Configurations are stock. So I'm just gonna plug the strings with a pick in the middle of the two pickups, right? And we will be able to compare the volumes. Oops, let's do it again. So you can see the volumes are, let me move this window here. Let me stop. So you can see the volumes are pretty much well balanced. If I, if I zoom in, in a specific segment here, you can see that across the string, which is the horizontal test, the volume of the strings are balanced and the volume across pickups are balanced as well. No pickup is louder than another. I would love to have both pickups inputting on the very same system without having the Kemper profiling amp, but I'm not doing any sort of amplification on the Kemper. I'm just using that to transform the um, analog to digital signal. 
because I only have one high Z input on my Universal Audio. But you can see that the volume of the pickups are, is pretty much closed. So again, um, you have the same volume across strings represented by the horizontal waveforms and the same volume across pickups represented by, if you compare the vertical waveforms. Now let me talk about the noise these pickups produce. It is basically none. Two humbuckers are awesome, but these two ones are extra noiseless. There is no noise reduction at all applied anywhere here in this video. So check this out. The pickups are on while I am recording this with the microphone. It's on, like in every position, in every position that you do, noiseless. And without adjusting the volume knob, they were on 100%, zero noise. It's pretty impressive. All right, now let me play the same bass leak over different pickup configurations. I'm going to put the pickup configuration in the video, in the as a, as a, a video text. And the bass leak is from a band called Air. The song name is Femme d'Argent. For this section, I'm using the Rickenbacker mono output and switch pickups using the pickup switch selector. I am going to play with the tone knobs in different configurations and keep the volume knob always at 10. I don't want to use Rico Sound for this specific demo because I want you to hear how noiseless the pickups were when using the pickup selector, when the pickup selector is choosing only one of them. So pay attention to the noise as well, because usually when we put the pickup selector to just the neck position or the bridge position, you may hear some, some noise. For the tone, I have the bass into the high Z input of my audio interface with nothing other than a preamp, no compressor, no extra coloring, nothing, just the raw pickups. Now, the tone is at 10, meaning it's full treble for both pickups. Let me put the, the tone at 10. Bridge pickup tone at 10. Bridge pickup tone at 10. <laughs> Now the neck pickup on tone 10, tone knob fully up. Let me do the peak version, the pizzicato version. And now with the peak. Now I'm gonna use the switch selector to put both pickups by assigning the middle position and the tone at 10, both pickups. All right, now let's, let me move the tone knob to zero, meaning full bass, zero treble, okay? And first I am going to do bridge pickup with tone in the zero, meaning all bass, zero treble, then neck pickup, and then both pickups. So let me do the test again. First one is bridge pickup. Now with the pick. Now the neck pickup. Now both pickups with tone knob on zero position, meaning full bass. No, with the fingers first. Now with the pick. Now 
noiseless. Like the volume knob is not zero. It's still volume 10 and I'm not muting in post-projection. It is zero noise. Now I'm going to move the tone knob to the middle position, like five. I'm gonna put them roughly here, like in the middle position. And I'm first going to play the bridge pickup, then the neck pickup, then both pickups with the tone at five. <laughs> Now I'm going to do a test, both pickups as well. So this is bridge pickup. This is neck pickup with tone on five. And this is both pickups with tone on five. Now I'm going to do a test with both pickups, but the neck on tone zero and the treble on 10. So meaning that the, the, the bridge pickup has full treble like this and the neck pickup has tone zero. So more bass and I'm going to put in the middle position. And now the opposite. Bridge pickup, tone zero, more bass, and the neck pickup goes on full treble. So I am very happy with the Joe Barden JBE 4000 pickups on my Rickenbacker 4003. I still have the original ones in case I want to revert to stock configuration, which I don't plan doing so unless I want to sell the base and the buyer asks for a stock pickup configuration. In that case, I would revert and I would try to sell the JBE on the aftermarket. But for me, the base is way better it has a way better and noiseless tone with these new pickups installed, two humbuckers. You cannot go wrong with that. As you listened, the sound of the JBE 4000 pickups produce, the sound they produce are amazing, actually better for my taste than the, than the stock ones. I would say their customer support could be better refined, but their product to me is a 10 out of 10, especially if they work for the first time. <laughs> So if you ask me if I recommend these pickups, I would say yes and no. So yes, if you have budget, they are expensive. In fact, the most expensive guitar pickups I've ever seen. If you don't want to spend $300 plus tax and plus eventual shipping, if they come malfunctioning like mine. So if you don't want to spend $300 in a pickup for a base that you already spent thousands of dollars, Try doing the polarity mod first. With the condition of operating at the same volume, the stock pickups can provide you the closest to the original tone, which is without the mod, but with less hum, because it cancels each other. Also remember that Brico Sound gives you the advantage of isolating pickups into two mono channels. So if you need the sound of just one of them, instead of using the pickup switch selector, which give you would give you hum, you can plug the stereo jack, have both pickups at the same volume to cancel the hum, and then get just the sound of an individual pickup via Rico Sound, because it will split into two mono chains. Remembering that Rico Sound is available on the Rickenbacker 4003, not the 4003 S. I think that S stands for standard, which means no Rico Sound. So when the bass has Rico Sound, it has two outputs, right? It 
has two outputs. That's all. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching and bye bye. See you on the next one.